Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another comic book haul. So yeah, this time around I picked up 11 comic books and a long box. So yeah, picked up the long box because I needed it by this point. So yeah, was, so yeah, let's say a long box could hold up to 250 books, and this is my third one. So 250 times. I don't know, let's see, that's, that's at least 500 books, given the fact that I have to get, pick up a third one. So I have at least 500 books. So yeah, pretty good. So yeah, um, first off, as usual, starting off with The Walking Dead, number 156, or 155 and 155, 156. Um, pretty cool, in my opinion. Really like this cover. Let me, let me correct the angle right there. Um, yeah, um... If you guys haven't read it, um, spoiler alert, quick, um, really quick spoiler alert, but, you know, I was surprised get, that she got killed off at this point, um, so early, so, yeah, um, then again, San Diego Comic Con is this weekend, so they probably did that for, um, because of that, because between these, because Negan was introduced to the, to the Whispers in this issue, and they kind of montage his integration throughout this whole issue, and then kind of and then he kills Alpha at the end. So I feel like they kind of rushed it, in my opinion. But given the fact that San Diego Comic Con, you know, they probably wanted um, us to talk about something in the comics as well. So yeah, because I mean, there is Fear the Walking Dead the trailer dropped, as well as the Season 7 um, Walking Dead trailer. Um, people are talking about that, but you know, get some love to the comics, to the comic books as well. Next up, speaking of Comic Con. Um, we also have some Suicide Squad right here, numbers 21 and 22. Pretty cool covers. Um, I really, I really like this um, circle right there. What they have and the DC circle looks pretty cool in my opinion. I really like it. Um, just to show you what it, some of the previous issues from Suicide Squad. Um, because I have one of them right here. Like if, here's issue 20. Um, yeah, 20. Here's issue 20, and here you know you just have the logo and. The number right there which in my opinion it's it's good it's good but for me here i'm um, just having the two circles right there really stands out to me and yeah and this is a pretty cool cover you know like history of harley quinn um you know baby quinn um isn't her real name like Har 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 harlow um something i don't know hardell quinn or something like that i don't know um but yeah little harley child I guess that, you know, child, you know, maybe here's, she's like a two-year-old, like maybe seven or eight-year-old teenager, adult, um, you know, when she's starting off in her 20s, and I don't know, how old is Harley Quinn? Um, I'm saying maybe 20s or 30s, so maybe, you know, and then present day, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it for the Suicide Squad. Pretty cool, and I here, I also like the cover, pretty cool. Who do, you, who do we have here? Harley Quinn, um, Deadshot. Diablo, right? Is that Diablo and Tigress? So yeah, I like how they introduced um, Diablo right here. I, ha I haven't read these issues yet, but I like how they introduced Diablo here, especially with the movie. And here it says Suicide Squad coming out August fifth, twenty sixteen. So that's in two weeks. You need to get tickets for that. So yeah, next up I picked up Birthright issues sixteen and seventeen. I need to catch up on Birthright. I'm kind of behind. Um, I have them right here, but I just need to read them, so, yeah, but from what I remember, well, but from what I remember, last time I read, it was pretty cool, um, yeah, speaking of catching up, uh, I'm also gonna catch up with Spread, haven't read, um, an issue of Spread in a long time, I've been picking them up, but I haven't been reading them, so, can't wait to re um, read this when I have a chance, pretty cool cover, and then, yeah, next up, for those who don't know, um, DC, they were planning to reboot a bunch of Warner Brothers TV shows, or Hanna-Barbera Hanna TV shows into comics. And they were going to do Scooby-Doo, um, they were going to do comic versions of Scooby-Doo, um, Scooby-Doo, Johnny Quest, Wacky Races, and the Flintstones. Um, I, I believe that's what it is, or, yeah, um, just, and here's, they have, like, a preview thing of it, Scooby-Doo, and, you know, yeah, Scooby-Doo, pretty cool. And yeah, you have Scooby Apocalypse. So that there's Scooby Doo. Um, I I think I talked about this in a video. I'm not sure, but you have Scooby Apocalypse. Then you have uh, Future Quest. Um, 
Yeah, I wasn't re I wasn't a big fan of Future Quest. I watched a couple of the, ep the episodes. I'm like, yeah, it's good, but nothing really interesting. But I really, I'm a huge fan of Scooby Doo. Um, Future Quest, eh, whatever. Johnny Quest, um, I, aren't they the same thing? Future Quest and Johnny Quest. I'm not sure. I'm, I've always been confused about that, but whatever. Um, I will say though, there's this commercial on like Boomerang where it's like Johnny Quest in a in a board game. I always I always found that commercial to be pretty cool. It's, it was like a commercial for Boomerang. It's like th these four characters, Johnny Quest and, you know, his friends or whatever. And they're like in a board, it's like a board game. And it's pretty cool. I re I've always liked that trailer um, or advertisement trailer, whatever, commercial, whatever you want to call it. But it's, it's on Boomerang. I don't know if they still have it there. But I always found that to be one of the coolest trailers in, in my opinion. So, yeah. Wacky Races. I was a huge fan of Wacky Races. I think it, it ran for like one or two seasons. Um, and they showed reruns of it on boomerang so yeah um pretty cool you had you know dick dash at the end the and the green mutt um Penel penelope pit stop the pss, the the little mafia members you know that helped penelope pit stop and penelope pit stop eventually got her own spin-off show which is like the most random thing and like the little cave man people i wonder if you have any of the characters from there um yeah you see dick dastardly in the in the mutt um, but aside from that, I can't really, um, you, oh yeah, you have the, you have the country guy, um, and the hick, so, yeah, so there, so I can see them, I think that's Penelope Pit Stop, I think, right there, because she's all in pink, um, which, I, and that was her trademark color, um, you have the one weird scientist, I, I think that's the, I, um, I want to say that's the one weird scientist, I don't remember most of their names, that's the thing, um, I, does it say their name right there, no, it doesn't. Um, yeah, but oh, I really like the show. Um, and then obviously the Flintstones. So yeah, pretty cool. And then speaking of which, and here here they have it. You know, Scooby Scooby Apocalypse, Future Quest slash Johnny Quest. I, again, I'm confused. Um, Wacky Races and the Flintstones. And the reason I'm talking about this is because I picked up the first three issues of Scooby Apocalypse. So yeah, again. I'm a huge fan of Scooby Apoc um, Scooby Doo in general. Um, haven't read any of these yet. Um, I'm gonna binge read these when I get the chance again. And if I like them enough, I'm gonna definitely put th put this on my pull list. Um, I want to see if I could get Wacky Races because that's on um, ra Race or Wacky Race Land. Um, that's that's really the only other one I'm really interested in. I wasn't a again. I'm not a huge fan of of Future Quest or. John, or Johnny Quest or whatever that is. Um, I was I, I was never a huge fan of it. And then as for the Flintstones, the art from the art for the Flintstones just kind of turns me off in my opinion. That, that's the thing. Like I, I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan of the Flintstones. Like I'm a decent fan. I I like the show. You know, um, it's part of my childhood. Sure, but I'm, I wouldn't say I'm like a huge fan of it. Like Scooby Doo or even the 1980s Ninja Turtles series. Um, and so yeah, I mean, maybe if it had better artwork, I I probably consider picking it up. But for me, the artwork is it's just looks kind of weird in my opinion. Um, Racky Racing, I'm definitely gonna pick it up. I may give this one a chance. Who knows? Uh, maybe pick up the first issue or issues. Uh, let's see, Future Quest came out on five eight, five eighteen. So for at least three issues. Um, by this point, so I, I don't know. I'll see. Um. Definitely see if I could pick up um, Wacky Race Land, though. That's the only other one I'm really I want to want to read. So yeah, Scooby Apocalypse, really like it. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Haven't really seen anything of the in, in the inside, but yeah, yeah. Um, and if I don't like it, you know, at least I have the first three issues. Whatever. So yeah, overall, pretty cool haul. Got a long box as well, as I said at the start of the video. Um, Scooby Doo. So pretty cool there. Um, Walking Dead spread, Birthright and Suicide Squad, right? Is that it? Yeah. So yeah, that's basically it for now. Um, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. Um, pretty good haul in my opinion. The only things that were not part of my poll list were the Scooby Doo stuff, including the preview. So that's it. I mean, this is all my poll list, all, all in my poll list, and this is just stuff I grabbed off the shelf pretty cool and yeah it's basically it for now and you know we all know that this is free the preview is always free so yeah subscribe comment down below like the video share on facebook twitter myspace or whatever you guys prefer and that's basically it for now this is daniel mart signing off